All right, welcome back. A quick little follow-up. So I, I showed you the first load. I did a second one offline, labeled it, put it in. What I found, instead of using the six overshot cards, I found that it was going to be a whole lot better to just use an extra nitro card. I don't see anything wrong with doing that. I don't think it's going to affect the shot. I'll probably do some tests and see what works better. So I've actually taken this and uh, I've got, got us up. I've primed it. I put the powder in. I put the nitro card in. I've put the wad that's lubed up. And now what I'm going to do is put the next nitro card in. I found that with this hand loading, using this, it's got a funnel that made it difficult to put the cards in. So just to show you, that's the nitro card sitting on top. I'm just going to push that down and in. So we're going to take the shot. You saw me measuring it out before. It's easier to pour it in this way. Fills it up quite nicely this way. I've labeled my next overshot card, which is three and a half drams, one and three quarter ounce. And the question mark is because uh, this shot that I got from the auction is actually, I don't know if, I don't want to dump it, but if you can see, it's, it's all sorts of different sizes. I'm going to use it for skeet just to fire this gun, make sure it's working properly. But I wanted to show you how I'm labeling it, putting the overshot card in. Pressing that down, actually I did find after it was in, I put this over top and give it one good press down. This is spring loaded. This is actually a BGI and company. See it's spring loaded so when you're pushing down you can't overdo it. And then pull this off. Just take a little bit of white glue. Um, contact cement or super glue can work as well. And I just get it going here. Sorry. And just a little bit around the edge just to seal it. Just a very light. And that's it. Just enough to hold that card in place. That'll glue and sit. Got another one loaded. Thanks for watching.